Hi everybody, it's Robbie from Southern California. And you know, I was out in my garden just now and I'm watering. Ah, the sun's not down yet. It's just early evening. And I came over here and I thought, you know what? I haven't told you about my dippers. And there is a dipper. I've got the plants. Look at this. I transplanted this poor thing, but I do see new growth. So I've got to trim all this up, pulled it out of another pot. I didn't want it there. It's a squash. I have so many squash. I don't know why I bothered, but I did. And I figured I had to keep watering it during the day because it's been quite hot. We're going to be 90 to 100 degrees. So I brought my handy dandy dipper here that I made. And I haven't told you how I'm making these. Look at this. See this? And this is why I brought it here because I want to make sure I keep that well watered. Look at that. A week later and that plant is now doing really good. And I can keep a pot here with some water. Just a regular floral pot or any bucket or something. Can water the couple seeds and the little tomato plant that's in there. And then I can drop this in there. And it's got a stick, so if a lizard or insect or something fell in there, they can climb out, or a little bird can even land on that, take a drink, it's fresh water, and then they can take off, but nobody's gonna, you know, hopefully drown in there. But the thing is, hopefully not, I should say, drown in there. I have been using these blue dippers, and I've had a, quite a few people ask me where you get them. Well, I was getting them from a company, a store called Daiso. But I just checked, I've been checking, they have not, with everything going on, it doesn't look like they've gotten them in this year, at least the ones here by me, they don't seem to have them. And I wanted to start setting up a whole bunch of them as I'm setting up my containers here and my totes. You know, occasionally I drop in a new seed or a new plant and I wanna make sure they get extra water during the heat. So I like having dippers here so I don't have to turn on the hose and water, it's just a little, drink during the day. So what I started to do, because I only have a few of those blue dippers that I got from Daiso, is I decided to make them. And it's really simple. And I'll show you exactly how I did it. There's nothing to it. See, it's a bowl. I happened to pick this bowl up from Walmart. You can order them online. It's um, four, they're full, four bowls, but you can use any bowl. You can even use a container from Cool Whip. But there are four bowls for like 90 cents, under a dollar, and it's that simple. All you have to do is you get the bowl of your choice and go with plastic. Otherwise, if you go with something like ceramic, you're going to be using a Dremel and you'll be working for days on that or at least all day. But get a plastic bowl and if you've got a soldering iron, and you know how I love my soldering iron, I use it for everything to make holes in flower pots. What you do is you find a stick. Now I found a stick in the garden off a tree and I decided to go with just, it's free, branches off of some of the trees that I've got around here. So I went around and I collected a bunch of branches and then I picked the branch out that I like. Now I like the one that's got kind of a V shape because what it's gonna do when I set it up in here is it's gonna keep from turning. Remember, if you stick a smooth stick in there and you go to you know take some water and dip it it's going to just roll with, with the weight it's not going to hold but when you use something like this and you're making two holes so i made two holes on the top with the soldering iron and i gently pushed it in and once it was fitted in i then just simply took a zip tie made two holes on the back of the bowl it doesn't matter inside back but the front doesn't matter two holes and then i zip tied it to the stick now it's really sturdy it's not going to move and i could just drop it in a bucket and it's ready to use you don't have to use a v-shaped stick i have used regular sticks and i put them in there snug enough you know, once I did with the uh, soldering iron, the hole and everything, and I zip tied it on. So I have found it doesn't have to have a V shape. You can, if you wanted to, use short tomato steaks. You know, the plastic ones you can get if you've got those around. Because they've got ridges, and they'll work too, but I've been using natural branches. So this way, if something went in there, they would be able to climb out easily. But they should be able to climb out on that too. So if you can't get a branch off a tree... You could just take a, any stick you've got, hopefully not too smooth, or you may have to kind of 
work with it to get it so it doesn't roll. But that's all. And then you've got yourself a water dipper. I don't know why the stores don't sell them. I've looked. You know, the only thing they sell are ladles, but I needed something bigger than a ladle. And I happen to really like dippers. You don't need a watering can. You just have it. It's there and you just water the seedlings as you, you know, start to plant and you can keep them anywhere you want. So I hope I've given you an idea on that. Look around, see if you've got a plastic bowl that you're not using. And like I said, I use the Cool Whip container, just um, a regular, you know, whip topping container. You can use any container, old food container that you may have if it's the right size and that works too. And here's the other dipper I made. I've already used all the water up in there. I'm gonna go put some more water, see? This is a straight stick and I actually put this one on with some wire. So you could use wire, you could use a zip tie. I put a zip tie on that end. So one hole was put there and then two zip ties crossed over and it doesn't turn. It works perfect. Let's go ahead and see how this one works. So you'll see, see there's the blue dipper that so many of you have been asking me about. And I can't get them anymore. And they have a nice solid handle. But you know these? do just as good a job and I can walk over and feed the plants whenever I feel like it maybe give this tomato some and then maybe give this great big zucchini some okay. these work really good so you can make them out of any you know type of whip topping container or any size container that you like don't make it too big you don't want to break your stick just something simple to maybe boost your plants with a little bit of water during the day instead of doing a full watering. You'll be able to just water some of your seedlings. Made the holes with the soldering iron. I put my stick through the branch that I found, the nice sturdy branch, and did the same thing once it was snug. I zip tied it and I have, uh, from whip topping, I've got myself a dipper, a water dipper, from whip topping from a container I kept. Look around and see what you've got. I'm sure you've got something and you can make your own dipper if you are in need of a dipper. But for me, it works out really good because there's no hose right here. And this way I can just water that during the day. Just give it a little water and keep the seedlings nice and damp until they get some size. Hope I've given you an idea. Have a great day. I'm going back to water in the garden. It's so beautiful now before the sun goes down. So have a great day and don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye everybody.